Ayo, duckies, Andy here, and the day is finally here. The StreamUp plug installer is complete, and it is completely free, and you can download it right now. This video, I'm going to be going through everything that it does, how to use it, and everything like that. Make sure you're all safe and you're happy, and just to, to cover our own back, you know, just this is going to answer all your questions. And make sure you stay tuned till the end, because I'm going to show you how you can get the most out of this plugin. Plugin program, that's the one, all right? Let's just get into it. Actually, speaking of brilliant programs, there is a tool that I use all the time now, and that is Duris. So they have sponsored this video right here, and trust me, you want to use it. I have been using it for some time now, all my links in one place, absolutely jam-packed full of features and even more coming, including link shortening so you don't need to use any Bitly or anything like that. And all your link page is completely customizable so you can make it look as cool as you want. And you know what? The dev team are just like StreamUp. It's just a bunch of normal people that are just making better experiences for content creators. So make sure you do try out their pro plan as well as it will go a huge way to supporting those guys. And you can even use my code Andy 50 if you can't afford the 299 I think it is uh, and you can get 50% off that's Andy 50 at checkout and that's lifetime so get signed up today what you got to miss try it out and let me know what you think all right so the stream up plug installer is completely free for you to download you can download it straight from our Kofi page well you don't download it from the Kofi page all right we're working on a new system we've got a download center and all that jazz so just stay tuned for that okay so you just need to type in zero or more there we would massively appreciate it if you left a dollar or two pound ten pound one million whatever you want to do to support stream up so we can keep making these incredible tools for you so you just drop it in there and then it will go through the checkout process. You will obviously need a Kofi user and everything like that. And just remember that email address that you've used. Because once you get checked out, it will give you a link to go to my.streamup.tips, which we automatically link your account. All you need to do is register a new user with that same email address that you used on Kofi. And then once that's all done, you will get your email that you can verify, do all that jazz, you know, like you normally do when you create an account and then just get logged in with that username and password you created. And down on this list here, you will see the stream up plug installer just here and you can just hit download and that's it. That'll start downloading it. It is just a, a exe. Just bang it in there. Boom. Bob's your uncle. Something I do want to mention is this is completely open source as well. It says private right now, but it won't be when we launch this video. Uh, so you can go through and look at all the code and everything like that. We have nothing to hide. We're just trying to make tools that help you all out. Okay, so there's nothing to hide. It's all run via a database that I manually update. So there's no like web scraping or anything like that. It's all just literally managed by us. So no fear there. So once you got it downloaded, something I would recommend is just co copying it into a folder because you're always going to want to use this, right? So on my D drive, I've already created a folder called plug installer and I'm just going to paste the exe in there. Once I open it, it's going to ask me if I'm sure that I want to run it and it is completely safe as long as you've downloaded it from us and nowhere else. It's completely safe. Like I say, it's open source. You can go and check it. The first time you run this, it will come up with a disclaimer that will say just a welcome message. It will tell you all the information about it and it just makes sure that we're not responsible for if something goes wrong with your OBS. As long as you use this tool right and you don't like, I don't know, delete your OBS files, it's all good because there's a lot of cool safety features that Silver has added to this. So once you're happy, you just press agree and close and you can press the do not show this message again if you are if you know what you're getting into, right? So once you've got the plug installer open, we've got a few different buttons. We can select required plugins, which is all the plugins that are required to make our stream up products work inside of OBS. You got recommended uh, plugins, which are our favorite plugins. Uh, you've got required and recommended, and like I say, it populates all these plugins here. There's currently 78 plugins in the database, and more keep getting added. Uh, you've got all plugins. If you crazy cats want to install them all, I probably wouldn't really recommend that because you probably won't use most of them because uh, they're a very specific use case. So obviously, you need to learn a little bit about the plugins first. You can do outdated, which I'm going to get to a little bit later on in the video. 
And we've also got custom, which we can press clear selection and we can select whichever ones we want manually. And the cool thing is, if we tick this open URL, we can press that and it will open the links that we've selected to the relevant OBS plugin page. So you, if you need to check what updates they've been or you wanna find out more information about what that plugin does, you can just open the link as easy as that. So before we start downloading anything, we actually need to set up our directory. So by default, it will be the same directory of where you've put the, the exe, which most people will prefer that method anyway. So if I just download the 3D effect plugin, for instance, and I press download plugins, it will just start downloading everything there. It'll tell you everything that it's doing in this output message. And if I go back to my plug installer folder, it's created a downloaded files page just here, which is just for helping with the extraction and everything like that. Don't worry about it. And there is also the OBS Studio because we've downloaded both of these plugins just now. Well, the 3D effect plugin. We can copy this OBS Studio folder, go to wherever you've got uh, OBS installed on your PC, which is usually in the C drive, then program files, and just press paste. It will ask you if you want to replace because all it's going to do is ask you this if it's updating something. You just press replace and boom, that is it. Just press continue and that is it. With uh, I've got OBS open. That is not it. But yeah, if OBS wasn't open, it would work. But I'm recording using OBS. That's really clever, Andy. So I can just close that down for now. And that's exactly how you update it. Doesn't matter how many plugins you use. If I do required plugins, for instance, and press download, it'll download them all, extract them all, get them all in a format that is ready to install nice and easy. So as you can see 15 plugins rather than me trail over the, uh, the OBS forums, I could do that go back to wherever this stream up plug installer folder is and you can see now it's 48 megabytes on there. I think it's 48. Yep. I can just copy this folder, go to wherever my OBS studio folder is, like I said, in, usually in program files and just paste into there and press overwrite and that is it. It's all updated. So easy to do. So one more thing to mention about using the folders. You can actually set this directory to wherever you want if you just hit the um, folder icon. And what you can do is go to wherever your OBS folder is, your OBS-Studio, press select folder, and we'll get this little message pop up. So this is saying that you've selected your OBS-Studio folder, and it's just giving you a little warning, which I'm not going to read it all. It's just asking for um, admin privileges to be able to write to program files. It's literally just doing the same as what we just did, but directly to your OBS folder. So I'm going to press yes. And that's just going to restart with admin privileges. Just like that. And then it, we get this little warning just to make sure that you are aware that this is writing directly to your OBS folder. And now when we press download plugins, it will save directly to the OBS folder so useful to do something like that. So now for my favorite part of this plugin is the outdated section. So this program doesn't actually know what is outdated. This is actually working hand in hand with the stream up OBS plugin, which if you guys haven't seen that, that is the plugin that I created, uh, which is uh, streamup.tips forward slash plugin. It's completely free to download. This is it here. You can see it shows what, what plugins you've got installed, if they need updating, and it's got a bunch of other little features in there as well. You just hit free download and it takes you over to our Kofi page again. You know, put zero or more in there. Obviously, cheeky little tip goes a huge way for us to keep making these things for you guys and get that all installed and used. And if you've not seen the video, I have got a full video on how this plugin works. But basically, every time you start OBS, this plugin will check if your OBS plugins are all up to date by using a connection to our API, which we, we maintain. It's, it's all safe, don't worry about anything. And as you can see, I have eight and vertical that needs updating right now to 1.4.1. And since this is run, that's actually saved uh, just a simple text file in your app data folder that you don't really need to know about. And then now when I press on outdated, it populates it from that uh, file. So it will know exactly which plugins I need to update. So then I can just press download and it will download all the latest updates. And then I can either copy and paste them into the folder, everything like that. So as you can see, this is a super powerful 
tool. So if you guys are happy with this, please make sure you do leave a cheeky little donation. Say thanks to Silverlink for making this uh, by jumping over to his Twitch stream at twitch.tv forward slash Silverlink. And obviously, make sure you do check out Duras as well because we are going to be doing some cross collaborate, cross collaborate, some just collaborations, right, between Duras and StreamUp. We're going to be doing some Duras StreamUp products which will make your link website do some pretty crazy stuff. Forget about Linktree, forget about the others. Use that, all right? I'll see you in the next one. Put your rock over the stone. Leave me a comment if you've got any questions.